All right, so what's going on, everybody? If y'all don't know, they just dropped four new QBs, Peyton Manning, John Elway, Tom Brady, and Joe Montana, who who I got. If y'all did do all the solos, I recommend picking Randy Moss and then just using your 95 overall power pass on, on like random players that just come out so y'all can try out players. But I don't know. Right now, it's glitched. It didn't let me add my free Randy Moss into the into the power up so i don't know if that's gonna be fixed or they wanted it like that on purpose but i want y'all to look at my old line i had a 92 tackle tunsil who was who was bad a rookie premier a 92 left guard a 90 right tackle and my center is maybe a i can't even remember off the top of my head but off jump i noticed well i don't know if it Cause this dude who I'm playing, he didn't have any pass rushers, and he barely he got pressure on me. A, he got pressure on me a couple of plays. I don't know if, like, I in my opinion, I think if you're gonna have a high raw master QB, I think it's worth it to sacrifice. I think protected is worth it to sacrifice uh, an ability like conductor or identifier. Cause um my um my Joe Montana, I had identifier. High route master and and protect it, which is which helps your O line block better on pass plays. And I want y'all to look at that throw right there. I feel like from my experience, if that's Michael Vick, he's gonna take a year and a half to to wind the to wind the throw up. But Joe Montana, I don't know if it's just me or or if it's really just Joe Mon Joe Montana, but it seemed like he has like last ditch without even having it on. Because the way he just threw that ball off while he's about to get sacked, i never seen anybody do that. And in this game, I was I was stuck in the Oakland playbook because I was just, like the game before this, before they even dropped those new cards, I was just running the ball every play. Like I just had to play the game how everybody else was playing against me. Running the ball at 2 o'clock and getting, getting in and getting out to the next game. So that's why I couldn't, like, I couldn't pick up a formation that I knew could pick up one for six. But eventually, I just went to bunch, and bunch. You can actually, I don't know if y'all knew or not, but you can run halfback base against one for six. Like one for six is a is a big thing. And that's, I feel like you just need escape artists against that type of defense because if if the dude comes in and you block it the same way that you usually block it, and he just comes in or somebody gets shut it, they make QBs like super duper slow right before. I mean. Say it right before. If you don't have escape artists, no matter what speed you have, so imagine a sixty speed QB without, um, without escape artists. So you know he's like real slow. And I left that play in there because I just want y'all to see how sad this game is. How did he? All right, first he was getting tackled, then he stiff arms my player and gets a boost. Somebody else is tackling him. He's running off on his tackle, but then the dude behind him trips over the dude making the tackle. I just wanted y'all to see that so I know I'm not tripping. See what I'm saying? So like I said, from from this game that I played without the dude having um without the dude having abilities on his like without having pass rusher chems, I believe it's worth it because usually like he has peppers and LT right there, he actually shut at me. And I like that that I can get shedded, even though I have protected. Like my player shouldn't just turn into to the ninety nine overall lineman because I have protected. Like the the stats on the defenders should come into play too. If y'all if y'all understand what I'm saying, like that's why I don't know. I'm torn on the abilities because I just feel like once you reach a certain stat, it just makes like once you reach a threshold, it just makes every stat go out the window. Which I don't I don't know if I really like that. One thing I will say about Joe Montana is that that even though he throws ugly like Phillip Rivers, that when he throws the ball, is it comes out fast in my opinion. And I'm just coming off of Michael Vick, so that that could be why I think it's super duper fast. But when I had Vick, he he took forever to throw. It's like he's winding up because his throw power is 90. This low key, this thing might low key work because my line is low key charged because he has like 99 throw power and. If y'all just heard that clip, I was in a party. I was like, oh, yeah, protected might low-key work. Because I actually felt like it was working. Because my old line is charged that y'all seen in the beginning. Those 90s and 93s. Any other game before. I'm 
door, bro. No, yay. <gasps> I just mossed him? Yeah, this game is bad. I had to leave that clip in that reaction there whenever I just mossed him. And yeah, I don't I don't know how that happened. That's a 93 overall Sean Taylor. But real quick, if y'all look at the bottom, like the bottom middle of the screen, on that pass, usually, like or on a lot of QBs, he'll it'll say pressure inaccurate and he'll miss the throw. But I don't know what Joe Montana has because I don't have anything, any ability on him. And it said resisted pressure accurate. And all I have on him is... Only thing I have on him is identifier, high route master, and protected. So I don't know how he resisted the pressure without, without anything. I don't know. Heavy pressure accurate right there. Like he's throwing the ball accurate under pressure. Right here, I gotta run the same play. I got to. I'm sorry, but I had to. And I guess this dude was just in recent plays because I came out one four six and he's in no. I said that backwards. I came out wing flex close, and he was in one four six. So, and the crazy thing is, I just know if that's me on defense, like I can't even stop one four six. I can't even speak. I can't even stop wing flex close when I'm in a regular defense. I don't know how he's stopping it in one four six. But that's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I do all the new cards, mud tips. All that. So I'm trying to hit a 1K. I'm at 590 right now. So make sure y'all subscribe.